Hello and welcome to this video. This is the taste test portion for the sweet potato motley. Um, in this taste test, I'm going to do it at full strength. I'm not going to water it down, but I'm going to do a unsweetened and a sweetened version. Just to see what the difference is. Um, I don't know if I'll come back and do a watered down version. I have it in my other Mockley videos, but you never know. Um, so, my finished product, I got about one gallon, a little over one gallon. Um, as you can see, it is separated. I've got my the Tongju is on the bottom and the Shangju, I hope I'm pronouncing it correctly, on the top. Um, I don't know if you can see it or not, but you've got in the bottom, you've got a mixture of the rice and the sweet potato. It looks kind of cool. So, we're going to set this down. Um, yeah, it, it, it came out, it smells, it smells wonderful. It's got a really wonderful aroma to it, but I digress. So, let's go ahead and mix this up and get it all mixed together. And so we have our Wangju. I have a cheat sheet off camera to make sure I get the correct terminology and maybe and maybe mispronouncing it but I'm trying to use the correct Korean pronunciation so our first glass is going to be the unsweet or the un, yeah the unsweet Pour it here off camera. There we go. Close up of the glass. Like I said, it smells wonderful. It has that's kind of a sweet smell to it. Um, it. Has a very fruity smell. Believe it or not, for some reason, it does have a fruity smell. Even though it's potatoes, brown sugar, and rice, that's a very wonderful, very wonderful aroma to it. Mm. Really good. Wow, really good. Um, lots and lots of alcohol in this. Um, Jack Daniels or Jim Bean did a sweet potato flavored whiskey. I'm betting it would be it would, the alcohol content would be really close to what this is. Begin to drool on myself a little bit, but wow, that is good. Um, it's got it. This is this is twenty at least twenty percent, if not more. Um, alcohol by volume. Uh, this is wow. This is good. Nice high alcohol. What's amazing is the alcohol content is as high as it is. It's not completely dry. It's got some sweetness to it. You can taste the sweet potato in there. Um, it also has retained the thickness and the texture that I really like, really enjoy with homebrewed mockley. But wow, this this is good stuff at full strength. Um, I think it would be a shame to water it down, but j that's just me. Um, I might come back in a later video and do it just because acquiring minds want to know. Hmm. Good stuff. Oh, yeah. 
And now we're going to take our second glass. I'm going to put my sweetener of choice, a stevia. You can use sugar, you can use aspartame, you can use whatever sweetener blows your hair back. Um, go for it. Knock yourselves out. Um, my sweetener of choice is stevia. So, I've got this cute little bowl I picked up at the uh, Asian market. And I've got, it's got this little spoon. I'm going to put two of these spoons in. Off camera, but two. Hopefully I don't break anything. See, got it in there. We can add some more red armakli. Stir it real quick. We'll use our spoon. I'll dry this off before I put it back in there. We'll go ahead and stir our sweetener. We'll stir our sweetener in real good. Excuse me, got a burp there. Well, the aroma is still the same, still very, very nice on the nose. Oh yeah, definitely sweetened. Um, as much as I liked the um, unsweetened, I think the sweetened is better. Um, this is a high octane liquid uh, sweet potato pie right here in my hand. Mmm. Good stuff. Um, highly recommend it. Um, if you want to try this recipe out, go for it. Until the next until the next video. Peace, love, better brewing. Good stuff.